All right, so a quick look at annuities. Uh, just as an intro to it, and we're going to also learn the formula. We might even run an example. Uh, what's an annuity? All right, so it's compound interest with regular payments. Uh, now, there's a lot of different ways this can work, but essentially, when you've done compound interest uh, questions in the past, somebody puts money in the bank, and then they wait some amount of time, and then they pull the money back out of the bank. Uh, but a, a more normal thing for a person to do would be to put some money in the bank, and then every month when they get paid, put some more money in the bank, and put some more money in the bank, put some, like a savings plan. An annuity is like that. It's a savings plan. We can also do it, use it, uh, use the skills around annuities for things like home loans as well. Uh, but let's leave it there for now. Compound interest with regular uh, payments. Now you'll see a lot of different formulas for annuities depending on on teachers and things like that. This is the formula uh, I'm going to use. All right. So there's our formula. Uh, it's pretty ugly, but it works. Uh, the future value is equal to regular payments times all of this. 1 plus i over n tn minus 1 over i divided by n. Uh, i is the interest rate per annum, t is the time in years, n is the number of compounding periods per year, and fv is future value. Now, uh, you might... If you're, if you're looking really closely at that, note that sort of this bit in here is the compound interest formula. So really it says future value is equal to regular payments times the compound interest formula minus 1 over uh, interest rate divided by n. Okay, so let's use it to do something. All right, so here's our question. I deposit $500 in the bank every quarter at 8% per annum. How much will I have after seven years? So, uh, looking at our formula here, the regular payment is $500. The interest rate is 8% per annum, and we need to write it as a decimal, so 0 0.08. At the time in years, it's going to be seven years. The number of compounding periods. Well, I'm putting it in every quarter. So that means four times a year. And the future value is uh, the thing I don't know. So now I need, simply need to take those numbers and shove it in that formula. All right, so here it is. Uh, $500 is my repayment. One plus the interest rate, 0 0.08 over four in brackets to the power of 7 times 4 minus 1 over 0 0.08 over 4. That's really, really ugly. Uh, so I'm going to put that in my calculator right now. I suggest you pause it and do the same and make sure your answer matches my answer. So the answer I get is uh, $18,525.61 if I round up. Um, now, I think that's right, but I'm not really sure. So one way to do it is to take compound interest out of the equation altogether and just ask yourself, if I made $500 payments just into a piggy bank, so it's not paying compound interest, and uh, it's seven years and it was four times a year, that would mean that I made $500 times um, seven years and four times every year. So 500 times 28. Now, uh, 500 times 28 is, is 14,000. Okay, and so that means that if I didn't put it in a bank account, I'd be earning 14, get out of your way here, I'd be earning $14,000 a year. But because I put it in a bank, I'm earning some interest on top of that. And in this case, that interest amounts to about $4,500. Um, if that number was larger than that number, that would be a problem. If this number was like extraordinarily larger than this prob than this number, that would also be a problem, unless the interest was really, really large. So I feel like I've checked it, and that's probably right. Uh, you can also check it by putting in all of that information into your um, TVM mode of your financial of your calculator. All right, that's an introduction to annuities, the formula, and a working example, all in one go.